guys do you want to run my sql queries in vs code so this video is for you hey guys welcome back to my channel guys in this video i will be showing you how to connect your my sql server with your vs code so let's start the video so guys first of all you should install my sql in your system so if you don't know how to install it i have created separate video for it you can click on i button or i have given link in description box you can watch that so first of all installation of my sql is required Required. after that guys let's start the VS code and here guys I will go to this extension tab and here I'm going to search MySQL and guys you can see this extension we will be installing check out the names this is the extension which we will be installing so just click on this install button so it will install MySQL extension so these are the feature which has been listed like you can handle your database you can write queries and all that okay so here the extension is installed successfully now at the bottom you can see we are getting option mysql so now let's connect with the server so guys here let's click on this plus button so it is asking host name so let's provide the host name as local host and then it is asking username so we are taking default user that is a root user if you are working on some other user you can provide that name also so i'm just giving uh, you root username after providing every details you need to just keep hitting enter button after providing username it is asking me password so i have provided password of my root user and after that guys it is asking me port number so the default port number is 3306 let's provide that and lastly it is asking certificate so we are not providing any certificate so just hit enter guys and you can see here in my sql it's showing localhost so it is connected but guys if i'm expanding i'm getting this error what is the error not not supported authentication mode so what I have to do I have to go to my MySQL and I have to uh, assign some privileges to it so here I'm showing you that step so guys I have just started my MySQL command line so in Windows search just uh, search for MySQL command line and here now I'm going to type one simple query I have just uh, log in with root user and I'm typing alter user and my username in single code so here my username is root so i'm that typing in single code after that at the rate and again a uh, single code localhost okay so this query you have to write and after that you have to write identified with okay and then this line you have to write mysql underscore native underscore password and then after that give a space and write by and provide the password in single code so whatever is the password of root user you need to provide that password in my case i have provided password for my root user as root only so i'm just giving that in single code so you can see it's showing query okay so my user has been altered now i will not get that error message after that you need to write one more line flush privileges just write this and hit enter guys so yes this is done now we will go back again to the vs code and here guys i am going to refresh it or you can click on plus button one more time and provide the details so here i am just doing that and you can see now it's showing me localhost without that error so that means the connection has been done successfully now if you want to run any query you need to just click right click on this localhost and you can just or you can select any database and you can just uh, write query over there or you can select localhost and right click and just select new query option okay and then you can write the query over here what i'm doing i'm just opening one folder so here on click of this open folder option i'm just selecting one of my folder and then in that i'm creating one dot sql file just to write my query so that these queries are saved later on whenever i require this query i can retrieve it so here i'm just creating one dot sql file and it query in this file so here in my uh, this dot sql file demo dot sql file i'm going to write my query so first of all i'm creating a database so for that create space database and database name and semicolon so this is going to create my database 
database so here uh, whatever name you want to give to your database you can give that name so i'm giving name as demo db and just select it and right click and select this option run query okay so here uh, now my uh, database has been created you can see it's showing me this message that is query is okay and it is executed successfully now whatever query you want to write you can uh, write over here and execute it so now i'm changing my database so here use demo db and then i'm creating table inside this database so i'm just trying to show you that yes it has been connected successfully to mysql okay so now you can select this and you can run the query okay so now here you can see a table has been created even if you go to this mysql localhost folder and you can see here the database is created just refresh it it will show you demo db is created with student table and the column inside it okay now next time uh, quickly inserting one record to this table so insert into students values whatever value you want to insert you can provide so i have two column name and roll number column so i am providing value for that and again i'm just selecting this and i'm running this so it will run uh, this query and it will insert record to my table okay so guys that is done now i'm going to simply uh, write select star from students and you can see it's showing me my content and if you go to mysql guys there also you can view this database and the table so guys whatever you will be doing over here the same will be reflected to your server you can go to command line and you can check this database will be shown over there also so guys that's all for today in this video i have shown you how to connect mysql to your vs code and how you can execute queries of sql in vs code so guys if you really like this video do hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box or send me on my ig but before that follow me and guys you can share my video to your friends also i'm there on different social media all my social media link i have given in description box you can join me or follow me there also also guys i'm having my website you can access my website and refer the notes and materials related to all the videos and tutorials and guys very important for me is your subscription if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys